Today, I'm going to discuss with you about where do we use MCCB and up to what capacity. I am electrical engineer. To learn about this, please don't skip this video till its end. It is a DB and this DB is feeding these lights and sockets. It is the incomer breaker and these are the branch breakers. In this case, for this incomer, we generally use MCB or isolator. And for the branch circuits, we generally use MCBs. That means, generally in case of DBs, we don't use MCCB. The next case is about the SNDB. It is an SNDB, sub main distribution board. And it is the main breaker of this SNDB. And this SNDB is feeding different DBs and also the MCCs, that is motor control centers. And these are the branch breakers for these DBs and MCCs. Generally, for this SNDB, we use MCCB for the incoming breaker and for the DBs and the MCCs also we use MCCB. The next case is about the MDB main distribution board. It is the main breaker and these are the branch breakers for this MDB. Generally we use ACB air circuit breaker for the incomer of this MDB. And for the branch breakers, we generally use MCCB. So I hope you understood about the question, where do we use MCCB? Generally, we use this method. And the next question is, up to what capacity we use MCCB generally? Generally, we use MCCB if our circuit breaker's rating is less than or equal to 1000 amps. MCCB is available for more than the 1000 ampere also in the market but generally we use up to 1000 ampere above this 1000 ampere we generally use air circuit breaker or ACB for our purpose I hope you have understood about this topic if so please like this video and if you want to get more videos with lot of information like this, please consider to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.